Welcome to the 20th Collision All-Star Boys Basketball Game. We're in Wilmington tonight at Harbor College for the city section against the southern section. My name is Randy Rosemont. I'm set to call the play-by-play -play along with Steve Miller. And Steve, the southern section leads the series 11-8. to And they're led by a guy we saw last week in the Battle of the Valley who really could be a difference maker in Riley Batten. Tremendous player, 6'10", uh, going to Utah, can do it all. Rebounds, shoots threes, shoots the 15-footer, and also a great passer. For the city section, I like Kihei Clark. He's playing for his head coach tonight. Derek Keller's on the bench out of Taft High School, and Clark was his star guard. He averaged 21 a game. He scored 21. Not a surprise last week in the Battle of the Valley. Kihei Clark is going to Virginia. He'll fit in perfect. He really thinks the game. He's got different speeds. He lulls you to sleep, and then boom, accelerates to the basket. Outstanding guard. This is a loaded city section team. Normally, you come in here and you think the southern section is a big favorite or certainly a decided favorite. I don't think that's the case. The city has a lot of talent. Tyree Winborn, the great guard at Van Nuys, uh, Dutrieve of Birmingham, they have tremendous talent here. Well, like the girls game, the southern section is bigger, but the city can make it up athletically, so I look for a tremendous battle. I really think we'll have a very good game. All right, let's go on to the court. We'll see these two teams as they're getting announced to a nice crowd here at Harbor College by Ken Miller. We're just about ready to start this basketball game. By the way, Tom Lewis is the head coach of the boys of the Southern section, and he was a tremendous player at Pepperdine in his heyday. Derek Taylor told me before the game he wants to race up and down the floor, have a high-scoring game. Well, he's got great athletes. He needs to do that because he's going to give up a little bit of size to the southern section, but not that much. I look a great game. I think the guard play is even, and in this kind of game, guards win games. Speaking of guards, Cameron Shelton will start at guard for the southern section. Tevian Jones at 6'6 will be in the starting five. The aforementioned Riley Batten, 6'10 out of Oak Park on his way to Utah. He'll start. Avery Martinez, a 6'5, 180-pound forward out of Cantwell Sacred Heart. Average 14 points there. And Bryce Hamilton, great player out of Pasadena at 6'4. Average 23 a game is on his way to UNLV. Now for the LA City section. The point guard, Kihei Clark, out of Taft, and we talked about him. He's going to play for Tony Bennett at Virginia. Eddie Big Gun Egan, number four, six four, on his way to Montana, out of El Camino Real. Jamal Hartwell, who can really shoot the ball from Fairfax, on his way to George Mason. Kevin a Brickway from Crenshaw, a very lean six six. He averaged 19 a game and is a terrific two way player. And Maurice Tutt, who played inside for Westchester, the Comets, for Ed Azam at 6'6". You won't be able to miss him. He's a very big body, and he's got great hands, very strong inside. Yes, uh, Tutt is very good rebounder, great hands, just like you said, and will be a force inside in this game. Again, Tom Lewis on the bench for the southern section. Derek Taylor, the lead coach. From Taft. By the way, Taft was 27 and 10 this year. They were 9 and 1 in the West Valley League, and they were the champs of the West Valley League. This should be a lot of fun, uh, especially after what we just witnessed with the, the girls' game up and down the floor. Very high scoring, talented women's game won by the Southern section. And we figure to have a lot of the same elements in play here tonight in the boys' game. I've seen quite a few of these players. Shelton is a tremendous athlete and shooter from Damien. And Kihei Clark has just got it, all kinds of gears. So this, this, this is going to be like a 130 to 128 game, game. Very close. Eddie Big Gun Egan was supposed to play in the Battle of the Valley, but he was away for his recruiting trip at Montana where he signed. Uh, Egan is a really interesting player. He's a 6'4 point guard. His shot is average. His ability to drive the ball to the basket is tremendous. So let's see how they're going to try to contain him. 
An award given to Spencer Friedman of Modern Day, who had such a fabulous year, led Modern Day to a CIF Open Division title. Great surprise. A lot of people thought Bishop Montgomery or Sierra, Mont or Sierra Canyon would win it, but it was Modern Day that got the victory, and he's posing with uh, Jim Herrick for a nice award. And we're just about ready to go. The black and red of the southern section, the city boys in white. Should be a very entertaining basketball game. So glad you're with us. Oh, I can't wait for this game to start because this is going to be all great athletes playing a high-tempo game. I want to see Avery Martinez. He's so thin at 6'5", but he can really play out of uh, Cantwell's Sacred Heart. Played for the Cardinals there. Bryce Hamilton jumping against a Brickway. And a Brickway controls to Tut to Kihei Clark. And the putback is beautiful by a Beckray. Great follow. He could have quit on the play, but he didn't. Kevin Abrickway is a very talented two-way player. The floater misses. Rebound taken by Egan to Kihei Clark. Hartwell. Yes, the three ball for Jamal Hartwell. Two great guards, two Division I guards. Kihei Clark to Hartwell. Hartwell going to George Mason. Clark to Virginia. This is Shelton. Riley Batten, who was the MVP of the Battle of the Valley. Inside, Martinez able to flag down the miss by Jones. Shelton shot no good. Tipped and controlled by Tut, but he had it taken away and putting it back up and in is Avery Martinez. Martinez unbelievably active. He's all over the ball. Jamal Hartwell out to Egan. His three is good as it nestles through. Wow, if he can shoot that and drive to the basket, he's going to be a tremendous player at Montana. Playing four 10-minute quarters, 8-2 to two City. Egan averaged 23 a game at El Camino Real for the Conquistadors. Shelton bouncing to Batten, Riley Batten. Batten's very good in the paint, very strong. Left hand hook is up and in. Wow, took him in the key and used his left hand. Great move. By the way, he had 26 in that Battle of the Valley All-Star game a week ago. City 8 to 4, 8-15 left opening quarter for Kihei Clark. Clark really runs the show. Egan, another West Valley League player, is knocked down, and we're going to have a foul. Our officials are Jeff Logan, Erskine Robinson, and Kevin Smith. Good name, great crew, big-time ga game. They have the best refs on it. 8-4 City, two minutes into the game. A brickway in and out, rebound Batten. Nice drive to the basket. Beautiful step through by Tevian Jones. Very nice move. Good baseline, good flip of the wrist. 8-6, the city lead. Carved to two, and here's a takeaway by Avery Martinez, and he ties it at eight. He is so quick and so active. Very impressive player. I liked him from the minute he came onto the floor tonight. 8-8 eight, eight game. Here's Big Gun. He already has a three, and Eddie Egan shoots for three more. Shelton with the outlet, and there's Martinez, and he puts it in. 10-8. He is such a great athlete running the court. Looks, uh, He's built like a 400 runner. Southern section by two. Egan for the tie. Eddie Egan knots it at 10. That's what he does best. Drive to the basket. A brickway forced the turnover. Hartwell off the iron. Out of bounds. Give it to the southern section. Ochine, Teddy Ochine out of Cantwell Sacred Heart, number when 6-8 forward comes in for the southern section. Shelton gets a pick from Batten. Riley Batten thought about the three. He's a 50% three-point shooter. 
That one's off, put up by Bryce Hamilton. Jamal Hartwell back the other way. 10-10 tie, 6-15 to play, opening quarter, four 10-minute quarters in the Collision All-Star game. Maurice Tut. Great pass by T.A. Clark on a screen and roll to Tut, and great hands by Tut. A giveaway on the southern section, turns it over. Eddie Egan out of El Camino Real has been most impressive early. Oh, he's a very good athlete. If he learns to hit that shot consistently, he's a great player. Going to the University of Montana. Is Egan. Here's Clark to Tut, who spots up and misses. Shelton rebounds. Shelton blows out of the backcourt. That's a nice look. And Bat runs the floor well for a big guy. He really does. Batten is 6'10", but he does a lot of great things in the open court. We're tied at 12. Four and a half minutes into the opening quarter. The city with it. Hartwell in and out. Rebound yanked down by Bryce Hamilton. Hamilton with a gorgeous feed and the dunk for Ochine. Bryce Hamilton, he's the cousin of all the Hamilton brothers that are all over pro basketball in college. 14-12, Southern section has the lead. Clark hooks a pass to Egan. Thought about the three. A Brickway will take it. Tut gets it back for the city. And Hamilton with the theft. Hamilton handles it well and scores. Great athlete, Hamilton is a terrific athlete. Can do it all. Shoot threes, drive to the basket. Got it back and missed. Rebound to Hartwell. City's going to bring in a fresh five as Egan lays it in. And it's 16 to 14 Southern section. And back and forth we go. Nobody guards Batten. And he scores and he's fouled. Wow, he used the rim to protect it. His shot got fouled and ran it home. Well, I can recognize Shamar Lair. He's got the big dreadlocks. He's easy to pick out in the crowd. Sean Booker is going to come into the game for the city, as is Tyree Winborn, who averaged 30 a game at Van Nuys. Malik Mohammed from Narbonne. So fresh troops on for the city section. You know, this game may come down to who has the better second five here. First five was pretty even both ways. Let's see what the second five has. Jordan Griffin also on for the city out of Narbonne. Batten misses, and Malik Mohammed at 6'9", the MVP of the Marine League out of Narbonne rebounds. Winborn, he's not shy, and Batten with a great box out. Alex Akins, who's checked in number two to Lovett. Zakiah Lovett. Marcus uh, is his brother going to St. John's. One's off to the side, and it's taken by Jordan Griffin. Lair with that spin move, and he threw it out of bounds. Shamar Lair played on the state champion, View Park Knights. Great championship for View Park. They've been around there a lot of times, but this year they came through. 5'10 guard is Alex Akins. Finished his high school career at Inglewood after transferring from Cathedral. Cy Johnson misses, and the city has it. Outlet pass to Lair. Good feed there, and a layup for Mohammed. Very nice pass. Who can stop the other team's fast break will decide this game. 3.20 to play in the quarter, and it's 18 to 16. We are going to have a high scoring game. City with it. Winborn for three. Yes. And he is as good a scorer as there is anywhere. He led the city in scoring this year. And his three ball gives the LA City side a 19-18 lead. Now they just adjusted the clock to 13.06. So instead of playing 10 minute quarters, and it really doesn't matter, they're gonna play a 20 minute half. Yeah, I like that very much like uh, college. Love it. Very interesting player. His brother is a star at St. John's. Left-handed, and this Lovett is right-handed. Both terrific players. You got Hamilton in this game. His cousins are all over pro basketball. You got Marcus Johnson's son in this game. 
Cyrus Johnson. Another uh, great gene person. And uh, as we go along, we'll get, name a few more that have relatives that have played ball. 1918, the city leads. Opening half, so we went from the quarter system. It's like school to halves. So the quarter system is out. And uh, coming up the floor is Alex Akins. When I think of Eaglewood, I think of the great Reggie Theus. He played there. That's a long time ago. Alex Garcia is now on the floor for the southern section. And that one's from downtown. Wayne Arnold with a three, and he gives the southern section the 21-19 lead. Driving to the basket is Bray, and he had it knocked about, out of bounds. Bray and Griffin battling, and it was Griffin that had it knocked out of bounds. Winborn has already hit a three. He's going to try another one. That's up over and out. 21-19, southern section leading. Great game so far. I think this is the way the game's going to be the whole game. This is a game that could go either way. These are two very talented rosters. There's a foul on Winborn. By the way, Tyree played on a city championship team at Van Nuys in his junior year. His head coach, Evan Porter, is on the bench assisting Derek Taylor. Yeah, they won the Division Three city championship. This year went up to Division Two and got to the finals and lost in a great game. Yeah, they lost to King Drew at the buzzer. There's a shot from deep, and that's up and in by Wayne Arnold. That's two quick baskets for Arnold. 24-19. Five-point lead for the Southern section. Eight minutes into the game, 12 to play in the half. Jordan Griffin, outside layer shot, no good. And a beautiful rebound by Garcia. That long range attempt, no good, but no box out there and an easy one for Cyrus Johnson. Marcus's kid scored. Great hand by Cyrus. Uh, he was in the right place at the right time. Mohammed is fouled inside. That's Malik Mohammed, again, the MVP of the Marine League, where his Narbon Gauchos went 12 0 this year. Nobody guards Winborn, and that's a bad idea. He is so good around the goal. 26 21. Southern section lead is five. Arnold again from downtown. And the rebound to Mohammed. Lair gives it to Griffin. Griffin inside, an easy layup for Mohammed. Mohammed's got great hands and great pass by Jordan. 26 23, Southern section by three. We've played nine minutes at the Harbor Gymnasium, Harbor College. There's a good move. And a better pass. Shot from the outside. No good by Johnson after that delightful look by Malcolm Bray. Lair the other way. Winborn will attack. And score Tyree Winborn, who already has an offer from Air Force. Well, he's a very good student. And that was a great body control move. Inside, Johnson. Well, Marcus Johnson, a legendary player, played in the NBA. That's his pop. 28-25, the southern section leading. Winborn for three. That's a little bit too strong. Of course, he has the green light. Southern section running the floor well. Wayne Arnold's coming here and... Given the southern section a lift offensively, and he's going to the free throw line. Where is he, uh, he going to college? Nowhere yet? Arnold, no. I think he's undecided. Yeah, he can, he'll, and he's not shy about putting it up either. Arnold has two charities. First one rattles through. 29 25 for the southern section. 10-12 left in the first half. Starters back on the floor for the city. But again, these are all terrific players. Arnold with another one. Wayne's right-hand push is accurate. 30-25. Shelton back in for Arnold. 
as the starters are filtering back in for the southern section as well. Had a nice chat with Kihei Clark's mom tonight. She's so proud of her son, although she won't be proud of that turnover. Oh, a little 2-3 zone trap out in front. Kihei was a little surprised and he threw it away. Shelton tried to deliver that ball inside and had it picked off. And then the city lost it the other way. 9.52 to play in the half. 30 to 25. Southern section with the ball and a five point lead. Hamilton, yes, Bryce right. Hamilton. Great pull up shooter, mid range jumper, left handed. He's going to be a player. He's going to a good UNLV basketball team. They won over 20 games this year. They're going to be good. There's a three ball up and in. Dyson Hughes of University. Oh, he made a living from the three point line. Uni had a great season, got to the city finals, and he was responsible. Uni had the best season in school history with 26 victories. Steve Ackerman, very proud of that basketball team that he coached. Here's a Clark rebound. City back by four with nine minutes to play in the half. And a giveaway. Jones from deep. Rebound Clark. Here comes Kihei Clark, and he really understands spacing, understands the game, and he can score from downtown if he likes to go and take a jump shot. He's got a really good move driving to the basket. He lulls you. There it goes. He lulls you to seep, and then boom, he's by you. Very explosive. Terrific first step. Lead is but two. Now it's back to four as Hamilton powers up. Wow, what an explosion on the rim out of nowhere. 34-30. A terrific collision all-star game. Clark short with that one. As we mentioned earlier that Russell Westbrook played in this game, but he didn't dunk any better than that one. Tevion Jones at 6-6. Going to Illinois, what a player, what an athlete. Spencer Dinwiddie played in this game out of Taft. Alan Crabb was in the NBA, another one who was in this contest. Wow, Jones showed me a great explosion. He reminds me of the Lou Henson team. Great wing player. And another one I'll toss out at you. Darren Collison played in this game. Now in the NBA. 36-30, 7.46 left in the first half. The Southern section by six. Jump shot is short by Johnson. And with it is Bryce Hamilton. Bryce Hamilton looks to explode every time he touches it. And Clark, the little guard, the diminutive guard, scissors in at 5'10 for the rebound. Tut from deep. The big fella showing us some range, but it didn't fall for him. Good box out there by Zelly Hudson, another Westchester player, number 13 in white. From the side, the jumper by Annam is no good. Ethelbert Annam from that championship King Drew team. Nobody back, and Jones with another rim-rattling dunk. Oh, is he going to be a really good player at Illinois? They don't get back defensively, and a layup for Zelly Hudson. There's a, a layup fest here going on. 38-32, still 6.40 to play in the half. Joe.